Dartmouth is a traditional, uh, traditionally a strong East Coast rugby. Very strong. They've, they've been playing rugby there for probably 80 to 100 years, and they've got a long tradition and a very well, well coached side. They're, their head coach is also the All-American coach. Hmm. Tell, now tell us what's going on here. Okay, um, we won ball off a kickoff and uh -oh. tried to handle it through the hands and uh -oh. Dartmouth intercepted it and just outlasted our guy there and um, ran it all the way back. Now this is opening in the opening kickoff. minutes yep. of the game. Yep, that is. That's, uh, oh. Our guys so, kind of so had a, they, they kind of had a little puzzled look on their face. They're, they're typically not used to that, but uh, they, they regrouped and they knew they had a, a game on their hands at this point. Okay, here's Just a little mishandle. Good, good play yeah. defensively by Dartmouth and a great offload there. Now, in football, that guy would have been down because his knee was on the ground. That's right. But in rugby, that's a different rule. If he can offload that ball um, then in a, in a continuous motion, then it's still playable. If he's on the ground and been tackled and there's nobody to throw it to immediately, then he has to release the ball, and that's how possession changes. Now, this is a penalty play in which we quick tap and find the defense um, a little unprepared, and, and Nardis, our team captain, just bullies his way in and scores right between the posts. Right. And, and to score, you actually have to put the ball on the ground. You have to put the ball down, um, yeah, that's correct, under pressure. And this is David Caswell, our kicker. Um, this looks like off a previous try that um, he had to kick it, uh, for a negotiated angle. Here's an artist again. He gets the ball down, you can see he just touches the ball down in the end zone and um, that's the score. Here's Pat Sullivan, our quarterback, to Caleb Gregg, a local from Nettleton. Now see, watch the ball spit out that was a penalty. Okay, that was a penalty that set this try up here. Okay. The penalty was called because the um, Dartmouth guy uh, dove on that, uh, that's called a ruck, and uh, he can't kill play in that ruck purposely to slow the game down, and uh, that was an infringement. Okay. Ball spits out wide. Looks like Roland Evans takes off as he typically does. Makes a Pretty good pass there, and uh, David Caswell is going to see it. And see, he'll run right between the posts and down it, because wherever you down the ball in the end zone, that's where the extra point has to be that, kicked. That's where the kicker lines up. Right. So he might not have a he might have a good or a bad, a bad angle. angle. Right. Uh -huh. Now that right there, that that was called a lineout. And whenever the ball is kicked out of bounds, um, the play is restarted by throwing the ball back in bounds. If Green kicked it out of bounds, then um, the white team, us, would throw the ball back inbounds. But it's still contested. Uh, Green can still try to win that ball. Okay. And what you saw previously was um, us throwing the ball in, a tricky little play, um, and it spit back to our team captain, Nardis, and he was able to punch the, it in the, the end zone. The two teams line up uh, side by side. That's and correct. the ball has to come in. Has to go right, right down, down the, middle. the middle of it, because everything in rugby is contested. So mm -hmm. either, you know, although um, it's our throw in, and the guy's throwing the ball inbounds, he has to throw it down the middle, and Green can contest it. Now what will happen is Nardis, he'll, he'll say a, a code, basically, and he'll call a play, and that tells our line which guy to lift up into the air. And so we, we call a code and say we lift the end guy in the line out, and they lift the front guy. So we've obviously had the advantage to winning that ball because he knows right where it's going. Okay. Uh, if we're throwing it in, if our player is throwing it in, he hears that, that call That's right. for the play. Mm -hmm. uh, what's an example? Of a call? Of a call, yeah. Oh, see, I'd tell you, but I'd have to kill you on that one. No, I'm kidding. No, that's, and that's part of rugby is figuring out the, the other team's calls. The other calls. team's call. Um, uh, there, there is an old code sequence that any, any, any state or city that begins with an A will go to the front pod. Okay. Any, any um, city or state that begins with a B goes to and the you middle pod. And figure those C. out that's right. and say, okay, this is what we're going to use. I say game. Arkansas State, Baltimore, 25, 26, go. The 25, 26, and A state are all just fillers. What the guys are listening to is Baltimore. That begins with a B, so they lift the middle pod. Right. And so that, that's what they're listening to. We've got a different one now, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's the status of rugby at Arkansas State? It's not a part of the athletic department. Th that's right. The NC2A <clears throat> hadn't picked up uh, rugby as a, as a sport yet for, <clears throat> for men's. Um, we are a club sport um, and a, a very... Uh, a very well-treated club sport here at the university. Um, 
the administration has just been outstanding and embracing us like we were a varsity sport with facilities and, and funding and travel and just working with our guys um, like they were our top notch student athletes and, and they are. Um, we just not, we don't have that varsity status. Uh, we are a club sport. Still have to meet certain eligibility requirements. Yeah, it's, and, it's, and it's governed by USA Rugby. <clears throat> um, and yeah, you still have to be a full-time student. You have five years to play from the minute you roll in school. And there's some other um, eligibility criteria, but and it's governed through an organization called USA Rugby. So. Okay. Well, we'll be back and uh, see the second half of the Dartmouth highlights in just a moment.